Welcome to 3, 2, 1, Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost, and here are five reasons you should apply your filters as smart filters. In order to do that, we need to make sure that we're working with smart objects. So with the background selected, I'll choose Filter and then Convert for Smart Filters. Now that it's a smart object, I can choose my filter. I'll select Stylize and then Oil Paint, make any needed adjustments, and apply the filter. Now the first benefit of applying this filter as a smart filter is that I can re-edit it at any time. If I want to make changes to the filter, I just double click the word oil paint or the name of the filter and make my adjustments. When I like my adjustments, we'll click OK. The second reason to apply your filters as smart filters is because you can mask the filter itself. With the mask selected, I'll tap the B key to select my paintbrush. It's set to 50% opacity, and I'm going to start painting in the building area just to selectively hide the filter in that area. So you can see by adding your filter as a smart filter, this mask enables you to hide and show the filter in the areas that you want it to appear. Now the third reason that you would want to apply your filters as smart filters is so that you could stack multiple filters on top of each other and then change their stacking order if necessary. I'll be sure that the layer is selected, not the layer mask, and then apply the diffuse glow filter from Filter Gallery. The problem is, is that the diffuse glow filter, because it was applied on top, it's hiding a lot of the texture from the oil paint filter. So I'll change the stacking order by clicking on Filter Gallery and dragging it below Oil Paint. Now the fourth reason to apply your filters as smart filters is because you can move and duplicate your smart filters not only between layers but also between documents. In this case, I have another layer here and I want to apply these filters. If I only wanted to apply one of them, I could hold down my Option or Alt key and drag, for example, the oil paint filter in order to apply it to the insect. If, however, I want to apply all the filters, well, I'll undo that using Command or Control Z, and then holding down the Option or the Alt key, I'll click and drag the words Smart Filters onto the insect layer. That copies over both the oil paint and that diffuse glow in Filter Gallery. It also copied the mask, so I want to fill that with white. I'll select it and then use Shift Delete in order to display the fill dialog, making sure that the contents are set to white, normal mode at 100%. And finally, the last reason that you want to apply your filters as smart filters is so that you can change the blend mode or the opacity. In order to do this, just double click on the icon to the right of the filter, then change the blend mode or change the opacity. In this case, I'll lower the opacity just a little bit of the diffuse glow and click OK. So there you have it, five reasons to apply your filters as smart filters in Photoshop.